una otra para finalizar dice que si usted tiene un mensaje para el mundo ¿qué le, qué le pueden decir al mundo pues a todos los hermanos donde llega este mensaje que estoy hablando con ustedes to all my brothers and sisters who listen to this message estas palabras no son míos, es de los abuelos. First of all, these words are not mine. They are words of my ancestors. En la profecía de los mayas está. It is in the Maya prophecy. En el tiempo 12 Bactún. That in the time of the 12 Bactún. 13 Ahau. And 13 Ahau. El regreso de los abuelos. It is the return of the ancestors. El retorno de los hombres sabios. It is the return of the men of wisdom. Que amanezca. Let the morning come. Que llegue la aurora. Let the dawn come. De, dejando este mensaje que no se que no que tomen gran miedo al mundo. So I am here with you giving you this message right now is not to be afraid and take this message spread it toward the world. The motion picture you are about to see was filmed by four teams of cameramen in more than 120 locations around the world. Scientists representing more than 40 museums and research centers took part in the explorations. There are no actors in the film. Every location is real. The facts that will be presented are true. This may be the most startling and controversial film you'll ever see. The visitors have been here. They have been described in many ways by many men, from primitive drawings to detailed histories, since the beginning of man's stay on Earth until this day. The record of visits dates back more than 500 centuries. The observations of the planet continue even today. A remarkable prophecy etched in stone predicts the year and the day on which the visitors will return to stay. Will we be prepared for the moment that is soon to come? We have evidence that a landing was made in the Andes near a lake called Titicaca. From the shore, the outline of Titicaca has no pattern. Only when viewed from space does it take on the shape of a jaguar about to pounce. ancient language of the region, Titicaca means stone of the jaguar. Was it named by arriving space colonists? Priests were the repository of all Mayan knowledge. They alone possessed a secret language, distinct from that used by the rest of the people, a language they brought from somewhere else and jealously preserved. There are many other indications that they are not of the earth. We know of their advancements. They developed mathematics to a high art. They invented the figure zero. They developed a calendar so exact, our modern astronomical devices have improved upon it by only 17 seconds out of an entire year. They also had a calendar which accurately measured a 260-day year, obviously not a year on Earth. Perhaps it is a year on the planet from which they came. An enormous crystal was placed in a Mochica grave more than 1,500 years ago. It is among the hardest of all minerals, yet it was cut, polished, and shaped by a technology that theoretically could not have existed at that time. Other hands carved this skull. The British Museum calls it 15th century Aztec. But why would the Aztecs, who never created naturalistic art, suddenly render in crystal a skull? We know the Mayans left a calendar, one that stretches back more than 90 million years, long before a civilized man roamed the Earth, and forward in time to a day that will mark the close of a crucial cycle. An 
inscription tells us that the modern period will end December 24th, 2011 AD. We may presume that they were computing the length of the space voyage and marking the exact date of return. They may return to seek the fate of the colony left on Earth. A mile to the south is the Temple of Quetzalcoatl. Legend tells us that he was a light-skinned, bearded man who came from the stars. Supposedly, he taught men law, the arts, and the cultivation of corn. The head of a great feathered serpent represents the god Quetzalcoatl. When Quetzalcoatl finished his mission on Earth, he departed to his native star, promising to come back someday. It is a pervasive part of mythology that gods fly to the stars with a pledge to return. The strain runs through all folklore. Outstanding astronomers, Mayans calendared the year by constructing a central pyramid with 365 steps. They also developed a formula to predict eclipses without ever knowing about the revolution of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. There is no way of telling how they discovered these secrets, but von Daniken believes that some ancient astronaut may have told them of the solar system in which they lived. A stone relief portrays a god in a helmet with projections resembling antennae. The Mayans name their patron Kuku Khan. In every 6,000 years, the Mayan calendar is off by only one day. Such was the gift of Kuku Khan. Kuku Khan supposedly came from the stars and returned to them, leaving the Mayans to build observatories to search the heavens for him. This ancient observatory suggests a knowledge of astronomy that rivals anything we know today. Yet it was built more than a thousand years ago. Who designed it? Where did they get their knowledge? Most puzzling of all, where did they go? No evidence has been found to explain the Mayan advances in astronomy and mathematics. The silent sentinels they left behind indicate only the methods they used to mark the passage of time. They could easily compute the exact day of the week a given date would fall 400 million years later. Long before Columbus, Mayan men of knowledge filled libraries with hundreds of books on their history and the complex cycles of the planets. These books were important because the priests believed that history repeats itself. Carefully recorded events were for them a guide to the future. This toy crocodile is evidence that the wheel was known to the early Mayans, but they made no practical use of it. Why? The basic assumptions about life in the universe were that nothing is static on Earth. Everything moves, and everything that moves has a measure, and everything that has a measure moves in a spiral. Nothing moves in a straight line. This is the way they conceived energy, and that's why they called themselves the Chan clan. Chan simply means snake. Kuku Khan erected a perfect calendar temple. A pyramid with 364 steps leading up to the temple, which represents the 365th day of the tropical year. They predicted that on December 24, 2011 AD, a cataclysmic earthquake would terminate their cycle of civilization. New men of knowledge would then appear to fight the forces of evil and lead the people to create a world government. If the Mayan men of knowledge were right, in just 34 years, we may learn the answers to some of the ancient Mayan mysteries. <laughs>